All right, Bonfire Breaks back in action. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video, we watched or we opened a core 2021 set of collector boosters. Got some just straight fire out of that. <clears throat> Thought I would try my uh, chances at this Time Spiral remastered uh, from Wizards. I'm very excited for this. Um, got some of the old cards with foil bo borders, new borders, old borders, all types of stuff. But like I said, we hit some Ugin last stream. So definitely check that out to see all the fire hits from there. Kind of got them in the background here just for some good luck, some pulls from here. But yeah, let's get started. If you haven't picked this up yet, I highly suggest you do. Visit your local game store, Amazon, wherever you prefer to get it. It has got some good cards in it. <clears throat> so, 36 boosters. In here. Ooh. box as always I suggest to wear the proper PPE when handling such fire product so make sure you got your proper gloves on don't want to get burned you know you just pull straight fire right here so yep 36 packs Pretty beefy. So let's get started. We'll crack from the middle first. Look at those stacks. Bricks. <clears throat> All right, starting off with some bone spikes. Glitter silver, some silver action, sliver art action already. Parsi charm, another sliver. Rigid, psychotic episode. Pallid, giant dust wasp. Another sliver, sun lance. Haze of rage. Got some uncommons now. First rare, Pulmonic Sliver. Nice, got a older card here, Palace Jailer. Foil and token. Failing Oddity, Spirit Guide, Coral Trickster, Mind Stab, Fungus, Deep Cavern Imp, Dress Time Bug, Dreamscape Artist, <coughs> Fortify Orcish Cannonade, Sudden Shock, Delay, Sliver, Glittering Wish. Pretty solid. Elvish Mystic. Tap for a green. And then a sap token. Sapperling token. Let's keep going. Let me know in the comments what card you're most excited for of this set. Needle Peak Spider, Sentinel, Sliver, Spell Shaper, another Sliver, Sun Lance, <clears throat> Time Bug, Multicolor Sliver,
Havenwood, Elf Druid. Fungus is getting plus one, plus one for each spore counter on him. Sorcerer's Spyglass. This is always getting reprinted. Still a classic in the game. Seal of Primordium. Spider Token. Man, this looks actually pretty cool. A little T4 Reach Spider. Mogwar Marshall. Got some goblin action going. Human Wizard. Strength in Numbers. Terramorphic Expanse. Prismatic Lens. Salt Blast. Storm Entity. Wheel of Fate. So that's our first mythic. Suspend four for two. So on four turns, it would cast itself. <laughs> Each player discards their hand, then draws seven cards. Kind of interested in this in my discard deck with Nico Bolas. So be interesting addition to it. Lingering Souls and a token. Love to get some of these in foil. <clears throat> Riddle of Lightning, Spike Tail Drakeling, Thrill of the Hunt, Corpulent Corpse, Sliver, a Ballast, Mont Manatee. So this is a counter for a white that can be kind of dangerous. Only have to pay one to break it though. Chromatic Star, Transmuter, Fetch. Got a land here. Calciform Pools, Scribe Ranger, Rare Two Three, Magus of the Future. <clears throat> play with the top card of your library or field. You may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. So pretty good. Get to see what's in the beginning. Beast Within. Destroy target permanent. Its controller gets a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. And then a foil common. So, okay start so far. Yeah. There's 36 packs, and so not all of them can be fire, but we're building. We're building. Get the s'mores ready on deck. Dream Stalker. This card always, like, kind of freaks me out, actually. Look at that. Oh. <clears throat> Evolution Charm. Gorgon. Sliver, Raider, an episode. Really had a bad episode there. Fungus, Insect, Gargoyle, Stronghold Rats. Got a rare here. Sudden Spoiling. Split second until end of turn, creatures target player controls lose all abilities and have base power and toughness. Zero, two. Contagion Clasp. <clears throat> Proliferation. And a uh, ape token. So none of the big hits yet. I actually didn't collect this uh, back when Time Spiral first released. Kind of a newer player in the last over year, couple years, but love to build EDH decks, and I feel this set is very strong for that. Got a Vow. Stack's gonna. 
fall over on me. Castle raptors. They're not even like raptors though. They're birds or something. Griffins. Got a whore. Hydra. Cross and grip. Another trader. And Farseek. I have this in a dragon deck for right now. Great for finding lands. Uh-oh. I almost just rolled right through this. Got ourselves a foil mythic gemstone caverns. All right. That's awesome. If it's in your opening hand and you're not the starting player, you may begin the game with an on the battlefield with a luck counter. If you do, exile a card from your hand. Add a colorless. If it has a luck counter on it, instead add one mana of any color. So pretty cool. That's a pretty cool mythic. We'll sleeve it up. Feel like we're getting going here. Going to actually move these a little off camera. Going to get a lot of commons and uncommons. So I'll keep it nice and neat. <clears throat> Already forgetting my piles. Got a serpent, two headed sliver, a mire, edge of autumn, grave scrambling, lion. Momentary Blink, Ancient, Salt Blast, next rare is a Sliver, all of them get plus one plus one as long as you have a Swamp, and Regeneration, ooh, is this going to be a Path to Exile? No. Tangible Virtue, Creature Tokens get plus one plus one, and have Vigilance. Nice. Oh, this is kind of cool. A token of it. I've actually never seen a token of an actual card. Pretty dope. Let's keep it going, though. Marshall. Going to start going through these a little bit faster since we've probably seen most of these commons already now. Two, two, gruel colors. Rada. All right. This is a little bit. I actually have the uh, EDH deck of the other Rada from the new set. This one's pretty cool. Whenever it attacks, you get to add two red, or you can tap it for a green. Got a blue. <clears throat> Paradoxal outcome. And a token spider. <clears throat> Grape shot mutation. <coughs> Another sliver. Poisonous one. Oh, poison counters. Yuck. No one likes to see that. Poison counters aren't, a poison deck isn't ruled out from our group game with my friends, but basically if you show up with a whole deck based around it, everyone's going to just knock you out real quick. A commander, rare, young pyromancer, that's a solid hit, right? For two, whenever you create or cast an instant sorcery spell, create a 1-1 one, one elemental. Got a foil common. This one seems thicker. I'm pretty sure this is actually a pretty good hit.
nice hit. About a third of the way through. Dual card action here. Summoners packed. So search your library for a green creature card reveal and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Beginning of your next turn, next upkeep, pay four. If you don't, you lose the game. So pretty good for zero to just go and get any card as long as you can pay four. To keep yourself alive. Ancient Den. Tab it for a white artifact land. Nice. Yeah, I feel like artifact lands back in the day were really strong because of like affinity to artifacts. Um, or, you know, you have to have so many artifacts to do something. You don't really see those kind of lands as much anymore. Kind of an old style of play. Another sliver, piracy charm, sliver action, return to dust, it's a nice card, and a rare 2-2 two -two Jaya Ballard, task mage. So is this before she was even a planeswalker when she is about 2,000 years younger, probably? Human shapeshift or spell shaper. I feel like that's what they probably used to call planeswalkers, right? Ark of Orazka. Oh, we got another foil rare here. I think this is going to be Rada based on the 2-2 two -two action there. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I've got the newer version of the Araska, so it was nice to see the older version here. Pretty cool. Put that with the rares. All right, next pack. Looking to get a Thought Seize or a Chalice of the Void out of this. Maybe even a Sliver Legion. Um, we'll keep it going. Keep it moving. Harmonize. Meteor. Dirge. Angel's Grace. I think this like saves your life if you're about to die. Yep. And a Cranial Plating. It's plus one plus zero for each artifact you control. So just like I was talking about earlier. Peak Spider, Think Twice, Archer, Pit Keeper, Sliver Action again, Mask Ghouls, Knight of Circe, Haze of Rage, Big Game Hunter, Riftwing, Cloud Skate, Flagstone of Trocare. <clears throat> When it's put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card and put it onto the battlefield tab and shuffle your library. All right, Corsair of Crufix. This is a pretty cool card. Another way to reveal the top card of your library and then playing lands from the top. Lightning Axe. For one red, you can deal five damage to target creature. Uh, 
as an additional cost, you have to pay five or discard a card. Oddity, Spirit Guide, Trickster, Wood Readers, Mind Stab, Rift Elemental, some Sliver Action, Spider, Giant, Soup, Stronghold Rats, Griffin Guide, Delay, got a rare here, is it another Rada? Nope, Safi, Eric Stotter. Crystal Shard for three, tap or blue. Return target creature to its owner's hand unless its controller pays one. And aids open. We're gonna need some help on the back half here. Back, no, that was a serpent, not a sliver. Search for tomorrow. Nothing right out. Five, five. Angel Salvation Flash Convoke so you can tap creatures to make it cheaper. Five, five, flying when it enters the battlefield, prevent the next five damage that would be dealt this turn to any number of targets divided as you choose. Bojuka Bog enters the battlefield tap. Uh, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. And a token. Dust Rider, Prickin Croc Sliver again, Phantom Worm, cool that's like a dragon though, Miri the Cursed, Vampire Cat, Flying First Strike, and Haze, deals combat damage to a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Target opponent skips their next combat phase. That's gross. Foil tendrils of corruption. Grape shot. Man, it makes me want a grape soda right now. It's a cool looking card. What are those? He oh yeah, they are humans. At first I thought they were like cats or something. Must be seeing things. Sliver. Pact of Titan. Create a 4-4 red giant creature token. Pay five at the beginning of your upkeep or you lose the game. Knight of Reliquary, okay. I like this card. So it's kind of like sacrificing your own lands to make it bigger. 2-2. Two, two. Alright. After this pack, we'll be hitting 50% of the box. Of slivers in the set. Got our next mythic. It's a 4 4. Other white creatures get plus one, plus one. Non white creatures get minus one, minus one. Pay two life. Return to its owner's hand. Nice. Pretty costly, but it's alright. 
We can work with that. Teamer Battle Mage or Battle Rage. All right, let's go. So we got a Throbin Inspector Foil Special Signet on there. This is a very nice card. Very excited to see one of these. That's awesome. Loving more if it was a you know a rare or mythic, but you know can't be all straight fire, but it's a great hit. Put that up on the stand. Very nice. I think that foil was done beautifully. I think they need to do this more often. Foil on the outside instead of the actual picture or creature. Let's move this base out of here again. These commons and uncommons. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Almost played 52 card pickup with myself there. Ooh. That was dangerous. All right, down to 50%. <clears throat> so those of you wondering, actually, this would have been on the bottom left of the box. If your local game store lets you buy single packs. Smallpox. That's weird that they're allowed to even do that, but Mystical Teachings, Dormant Sliver, Green Blue. Nodes and Epic Experiment. Get some good stuff these next couple next couple packs. Dried Arbor, nice. Buddy of mine wanted this, so this is gonna be a great trade bait for him. Let me stick that to the side. Leave this up. <clears throat> All right. Then we got a Molten Rain. Destroy target land. If that land was not basic, it deals two damage to the land's controller. So great for a uh, commander. Ooh, what do we got? Past in Flame Sorcery. Gains flashback until end of turn. That's pretty cool. Again, I love this border where it's not the picture necessarily that's foil, but the rest of the card. That's beautiful. Great. We'll take it. Wow, really can't get in there, huh? There we go. Another hit on the board. Sliver. Clues. Again, guys. Thank you for the support going through all these packs. Make sure you comment what card is your favorite, of course. Always interested in seeing what people think. It's a vampire. <coughs> oh, wow. In the very next pack, Past in Flames. And then a mass of ghouls. Be 
sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell. Let yourself get reminded when this heat is just being pulled. So you can come and join us again. Elf Shaman. Sliver. Saltfield Recluse. Uh, rare Walk the Aeons. Target player takes an extra turn after this one for six. You can get it back by sacrificing three islands. Thraktus and a token. Mutation, Spider, think twice, Archer, everything that we've been seeing so far already. Some more slivers. Some spell bursts. Plume. Lotus Plume, alright, so we got the uh, Biobox promo non foil version. Pretty cool. Adding three mana of any one color to your mana pool. And then a pride mage. Cat, wizard, one green, one white. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Pretty solid. <clears throat> Block with it, sacrifice it, destroy something. Move along. Buddy of mine has a green white uh, cat deck. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's so strong. Uh, it's like surprisingly strong though. Just gets a bunch of equipment. Gets indestructible creatures. Creatures are getting boosted. Muck drub. Sudden shock. Celestial crusader. Life and limb. All force and all saplings are one one green sapling creature and force lands in addition to their other types. That's pretty solid. Risky with a destroy all creatures or land, but hey, gotta deal with it. Trinket Mage. Enters that enters battlefield and you search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost one or less. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Pretty good card. Um, another deck I've seen with that card, the Trinket Mage, is they go and get like Spellbook. So I have to have it maximum hand size, I believe, or it's like their blue man, their blue cost cards are cheaper. A couple things I grab with that. Chromatic Star, Fortify, Balath, Transmuter. Arc Blade, Street Wraith, Primal Force Mage, a Shapeshifter, Hedron Archive. I run this in my EDH Ulamog deck, so or Kozilek, depending on what I want to do with it. Pretty cool. It's nice seeing the old versions of these cards. I'm, I know I've said that before, but kind of seeing where these cards originated at. It's pretty cool. Terramorph Expanse. Jora. Cranial plating again. Copy.
damnation. All right, that is a great mythic. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. For only four. That's a great hit. Chalice of the Void in one pack. Jeez, and a foil rare. Look at that of a pack. Ooh wee. This box just turned into a mediocre to pretty darn good. Let's get some sleeves on these. That was a lot of fire in one pack. Those for you checking, that would have been on the right side of the box. I think it all is pretty random, but me personally, I always like to go the middle of the middle row is where I usually pull my packs from. So if it's a full box, that's what I do. Some dealers will uh, move the packs around once it's open. So if someone's going straight down the middle, they'll bring some packs from the left or right to go back down there too. <clears throat> But yeah, we got two more hits on the board. Check that out. Chalice of the Void. For those of you who don't know what it does, enters battlefield with X charge counters on it. When a player casts a spell with converted mana costs equal to the number of charge counters on it, counter that spell. Really good. And then Damnation again. Destroy all creatures. They can't be regened. They're dead. Dead. It's safe for good, but you know, we all know there's ways to get stuff out of there, guys. That was a fire, fire pack. I thought that was something on there. Oh yeah, so that's the original artist, I guess. Oh, that's actually weird. Let me know in the comments what that is. Tomb Stalker flying 5-5 five, five with Delve. Vampire Hex Mage. And a token. If you guys are enjoying this video make sure you are subscribing help the channel out definitely helps me bring in more product if you would like to sponsor a box just dm me you can find my twitter in the bio and i'll try and find something and work something out with you sarah avenger Ninja of the Deep Hours. This is a pretty cool card. Ninjutsu. Grave Seeker. And a token. Foresee. I couldn't foresee that. Packed with Chalice of the Void, Damnation. And a foil rare. Stormfront Riders. Topia Mycon. Muck Drub. Magus of the Moon. Non basic lands are mountains. So basically the creature version of Blood Moon. So pretty solid. Field of Ruin. Nice. Oh, Return of Dust. That's pretty cool. Uh, this, I like this card. Playing a couple decks. Kind of helps me take some land out of my deck in the EDH, but also get rid of like a Rogue Passage or someone's land that's providing two mana, something like that.
Outlaw, another return to dust. Harmonic Sliver. Heartwood Storyteller, whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. That's pretty sweet. Haven't seen that one before. And Alesha, who smiles at death. Cool. Alright, gotta move this a little bit. Hopefully I don't drop it like last time. Let's just get it over there. Down to four packs. Hit some pretty solid mythics. So hopefully we got another one in here. Maybe a thought seize or something, a ponder. Something good in these last four. Mythic, just like I said, a 7-7. Seven, seven. Sliver Legion, all right. That's a nice hit. We're glad to see that one. It's silent, your opponents can't cast spells this turn. I would love to just play that on someone's like turn that they think they're going to win, or if they're like, oh, I'm going to win next this turn, or I think I got gotcha. you. Boom, drop that. No, you don't. That would be pretty awesome to do. I might just build a deck with white in it just for that reason. I usually don't play white. I'm more of a blue and black player. Let's take this cavern down for the Slivos. Five color commander start. <coughs> Three packs left. Another episode, Chromatic Star, Sense, an Elemental. Creatures with no abilities get plus two, plus two. Gurmog Angler. Uh oh. Another foil. Ancient Stirrings. That's a great hit, I feel like. Only got two packs left. Two packs left. Let's see what we get in here. Reclamation Sage. Oh, move that back over. 